All right, let's try this again. Hopefully this is working. I don't know exactly what happened, but regardless, somebody tell me if I've got a sound. Somebody can tell me, anybody, just, just post something. Nia, can you go to advancedmedicine.com yeah. and you'll see the live stream coming through there and you should be able to see if people are saying that it's coming through just on the homepage, advancedmedicine.com. If I've got confirmation, as soon as I have confirmation that you guys can hear me, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to tell you this. This is something that wasn't planned. You see anybody saying that they're hearing me? They hear you on Instagram. They hear me on Instagram? Well, Instagram will, be, but they've... Yeah. You're getting live stream? Got it? Good. Okay, perfect. So everybody can hear me. Thank you guys for tuning in. You guys got to let everybody know this message that I'm about to give you because this is something that I just found out. It's, it's beyond belief. This is regarding a house resolution that was initiated on May 1st of this year like four or five or six days, well, I don't even know what day it is right now, but it was May 1st introduced into the U.S. Congress. It's a House Resolution 6666. That is not an exaggeration. I have no idea how this works, but this is what the actual House Resolution number is, 6666. And I'm going to read you what that House Resolution is. Please make sure that you pass this on to every single person that you know. I don't care whether you're in the United States or not, you gotta get this information out. House Rule 66 or House Resolution 6666 is for COVID-19 Testing, Reaching, and Contacting Everyone Act. The acronym is TRACE Act. Again, TRACE Act stands for Testing, Reaching, and Contacting Everyone. It was introduced by Bobby Rush, who is a Democrat from the state of Illinois. And they have introduced this bill into the House and they're going to roll this out from a testing standpoint in Ventura County, California, which happens to be where I'm at right now. And I couldn't believe that I heard this, but basically this act is to allow individuals to come into your house. And if you've got a cough or somebody in your family has a cough or they're going to or you, you have a fever or anything that they determine that shows that you have COVID-19, regardless of if you've been tested or not, they will also test people. <clears throat> but remember, that testing already has been shown to be the, to, there to be a high rate of false positives. False positives meaning you don't have COVID-19, but the test shows it's false positive. It's showing up as positive, so they call it a false positive. We already know from the studies previously done as far back as 1984, but as recently as 2018, that individuals that did not have COVID-19 or coronavirus, even in the CAT model, cats that had never been exposed to coronavirus tested positive if they had had a flu shot, if they had the trivalent or the covalent flu shot. And we don't know about the H1N1 shot. We don't know about the herpes uh, zoster shot, the shingle shot. There's many other vaccines that people have gotten. We have no idea if people are going to be testing positive, have false positives based upon those tests. So the point is that the chance of them testing someone and them being high, them being positive is pretty doggone high, even if the person doesn't have COVID-19. But they're going to use that to pull you or your loved ones, especially your children, away under pretense of public safety. They're going to say that your child has to be removed from you because you have COVID-19. And so to protect your child, we're going to take that child or we're going to take your grandmother or your father or you and put you into quarantine. This is a load of rubbish because if you're in your home isolated, who are you going to expose? All right. And if they're going to try to take you away from your family, the chances of you having infected your family, even if you did really have COVID-19, is about 99.9%. So this is a bunch of BS. They're using this as an attempt to further divide us as individuals. They divided us from our friends, from our social circles. Now they're dividing us from our own family units. This is the most ominous sign so far that we've seen. I want you to all wake up. I want you to pass this information on. I want you to tell every single person that you know what's happening. If you're not in the United States, I don't care. It's coming to your country as well. And if you're in the United States, you need to contact your representatives. Right now, if you go to askdrbutar.com forward slash ask, right underneath my image, you'll see that link. 
go to that website, follow the, the, the information that it's asking, enter that information in, and then it's, you're going to be taken to a page. The first one is a petition. It's a petition about censorship against media the, that mainstream media has right now, as well as social platforms. Sign that petition. Second thing is a website or is a, is a link that'll take you to allow you to send any letter that you want to people on, to, to elected officials on the municipal level, on the state level, and on the federal level, and tell them that you violently oppose H.R. 6666. Every single person needs to do that right now. You don't have to even know your House members or your representatives or your governor or your mayor. You don't have to have any information. That link that we have, all you do is type in your name, your email address, and then click on your zip code, and it will automatically find your elected officials, and with one letter, you'll get it to every single person. It's actually going to work for Australia, and it's also going to work, um, I, I think, Australia, UK, and Canada. I think it's coming down the pipeline. Right now, it may only be working for the U.S., but our plan is within the next couple of days, it will work for elected officials in Australia, in Canada, in the U.K., and in the U.S. For right now, it's in the U.S. So write down that you oppose H.R. 6666, the TRACE Act. The testing, um, I'm, I'm so flustered right now, I can't even think what it was. Testing, Reaching, and Contacting Everyone Act. I want to now read you a quote from a Supreme Court justice. And remember this, James Agler Fee said, the privilege against self-incrimination, which is basically to ensure your freedom, and we're talking about the exact same thing here, to ensure your freedom, is neither accorded to the passive resistant nor the person who is ignorant of his rights nor to one indifferent thereto. It is a fighting clause. Its benefits can be retained only by sustained combat. It, can, it cannot be retained by attorney or solicitor. It is valid only when insisted upon by a belligerent claimant in person. The one who is persuaded by honeyed words or moral suasion to testify or produce rather than to make a last ditch stand to ensure their own freedom simply loses the protection he must refuse to answer or produce and against all odds. Now, it goes on. You guys can look up the quote yourself. Judge James Agler Fee, a Supreme Court Justice. I want you to remember that this is how it all begins. Do not sit still. Let everyone in your social network know. Pass this on. Pay it forward because tomorrow it could be your family in your county, in your state, this is going to happen. If you're in Ventura County, California right now, you need to do something today because if you don't, tomorrow it's going to be your child or your parent or your spouse that's going to be removed. It's going to be your brother or your sister. So you need to do something right now. I will be back ne this coming Monday, like I am every Monday evening, New York time, 8.15 p.m. Central, uh, 8 p.m., 8.15 p.m. New York time to do my regular live broadcast. So guys, join me, and I'll see you then. It is time to wake up. It certainly is. Do what needs to be done.